do Kyle? Uh, I work for uh, like a certain jumping team. All oh, right. I do like grounds and that really. Yeah. Um, We're out hawking with the boys, Kyle and Tommy, and they've invited down a couple of their friends with their goshawks. Now, I've not seen goshawks fly for a couple of years. Um, goshawking was probably my mainstay of falconry for a long time before I started flying Zeus. So, um, ground game is what we're after. We're on a good bit of land on this day, so let's see how we get on. Beautiful weather, a joy to be out, to be honest. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, another one. I'm going to flip. Go on, then. Oh, oh look at that.
Funny, isn't it? Because it's looking at the dog. Yeah, it's watching me. Because it's looking at the dog. Yeah, it's watching me. Both them birds are ugly now, don't they? <laughs> Have a close call. Four of us were sat shooting a stone for about fucking seven minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is that in the lab? Where have you got that video? No. That blew off. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, I got that video. <laughs> Well, I've left those guys to it. I've got to get stuff ready for tomorrow. I've got a scouts talk tomorrow with birds and animals. Um, typically, the Gosthook and the Harris Hawk were both switching on as, as the afternoon goes on. These predators know that a certain amount of time remains for them to sort of get their dinner for the day. It's their natural psyche. And often, birds that are not making a great deal of effort early on switch on big time and their prey drive kicks in. So we had a couple of really good flights from Alan the Harris's Hawk and from James's female goshawk. Um, really good little ending. Very difficult as you've seen to capture anything on video because I wasn't really that close to anything. But a lovely day out for me. And as a side note, you still got a lot of uh, falconers. So I've not been out for ages, it's too windy. It is blowing a hoolie out here today. Absolutely ridiculous. It will be soundtracked over as you've already realized because the wind noise has been ferocious. And a fit, fit hawk that's obedient and it understands the wind there's no wind that's too windy there really isn't it is howling over there today but what it does do is massively weight the advantage even more in favor of the quarry and it actually makes it really difficult to get a successful slip but you can certainly still get out there with your hawk and enjoy the countryside no matter how windy it is if that bird is super fit super obedient and understands the wind hope you've enjoyed this short video please subscribe who knows what the next video will be